complain about the talk and I talk and I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! Starts now. In my eyes, Jose's gone running. If he wants to come back, he can come back, but I swear to God, his day will come. All right, start around one Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor. Here we go. Whoa! He knocks out Jose Aldo! has always wanted to be a multiple division world champion. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions. If anyone can do it, it's me. You're blessed that I chose you. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your ass next. It's time! Two way world champion. Oh. UFC history. New York. You're gonna wrap one on one shoulder. I'm gonna wrap the other on the other shoulder. Lightweight champion. And I dreamed into reality. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. God bless. Well, most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title. But against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenger. For Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. Where are you at, Big Nugget? All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight title fight between Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. Well, with one of the best resumes and most crowd-pleasing styles in the sport, here he is, the inimitable Tony Ferguson. Tonight, he makes the walk for the biggest fight of his life against Conor McGregor. Not all that long ago, Ferguson put a capstone on the longest winning streak this division had ever seen by beating Kevin Lee for his first belt. This is the title he wants, and he believes he has more ways to win this fight tonight against Conor McGregor. I cannot wait to see how this fight plays out. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. So here we go, this is as big and as anticipated a fight as we have had in recent UFC history. Maybe one of the bigger fights this octagon has ever hosted. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson for all the marbles. And as far as Conor McGregor is concerned, he'll have some advantages on the feet. He understands distance as well as anyone in the game. And you can be sure when it comes to McGregor, he is not intimidated by the prospect of sharing the octagon with El Cucu. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is four years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this 
is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony El Cucuri. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down. Fight now. McGregor gets tagged by that kick. That can't feel real good, Joe. Good shots by the champion. Oh, slam me! These are some bombs he has thrown. Oh, straight right. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Connor. McGregor is landing hard leg kicks tonight. Oh, dude, those leg kicks are no picnic. 100% agree. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Just over three minutes to go now. He gets the full mount. Good control, postures up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Big shots. Ferguson's eyes closing up now. Not good for him. He's all over him now. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh! He is getting off some huge punches here. Kuku, he gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He postures into place. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. He's doing a great job of ground and pound here. Ripping to the body and to the head, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. A little bit uneventful. Nice punch there by McGregor. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Good shot to the head. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. He's inside control here. Now he gets the full mount again. He is getting battered. He's back to side control.
Good left by Connor. Oh, he's beating him up here. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Folks, here we go with the start of round two. Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. This is, God, look at that. Takedown, man. Oh, hammer fist here by Ferguson. And he reverses position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, he landed a right hand. Good punch. Ferguson's eye and the swelling around it is only getting worse by the minute. You gotta wonder, Joe, at this point, whether or not that might be a fractured orbital bone. The speed and power is something to behold, and as it lands, immediately his opponent goes limp. And let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop this contest. At two minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. So Conor McGregor made the walk tonight as the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, and that is exactly the way he goes out tonight. You had a lot of people backing Tony Ferguson in this matchup here tonight. They felt like he was the fresher guy, the more active guy, the more conditioned fighter. Yet again, Conor McGregor's power, his accuracy proving to be too much. And yet again, they are all still chasing Conor McGregor at 155 pounds. Absolutely.